Morning. It is day two of the January challenge. Maybe afternoon when you're watching it. It may be the evening, but welcome along. Um, I can confirm today, of course, that there are indeed 31 days in January. I was a little confused yesterday during the introduction. I've checked 31. Today I've written it down, so I know, um, which is good. Uh, on today's task, set by Sally and Claire of Crate Carfilly Skills over in Wales, uh, we're looking out of our window. So let's take a moment to think about what is outside. Right, so I recorded a little bit of what was going on outside today on my iPad, Let's some space. So as you can see, it's a very dull day. Um, I can see lots of trees and twigs. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, there was a pigeon high up in the uh, the la near the light, the street light. I might use that in my picture. It was raining. It was cold. You could see the water splashing in the puddles. It was a nice sound. There was the whistling of the wind. Um, some steam going across the window as I was recording. There's a big house at the end of our road, which I quite like seeing. And there's, there's sometimes dogs and things that walk across the end of the road. I might write that down. And then there is the rain. Lots and lots of rain. is rain on the window I'm not sure if I'm going to include that or not but I thought it was useful to have a, a reference so that was a minute looking out of my window making some notes uh, on what I saw and what I felt let's, uh, let's go ahead and write those down now so these tasks are not always about art sometimes there's some sort of some thinking to be done and I think it's good to think about art our work before we create it have time to reflect on the things we're thinking and feeling that day just writing down some words here that we spoke about when I watched the video I didn't use the word dull there but I think that's um, a strange one there was green grass as well I remember green grass put wind we've got some wind there was a whistling we've got wet wet's a good word we can use wet to a good effect in a picture so I've looked out of a window I've written down some words now Sally and Claire have asked us to use this to inspire a sentence a short poem or a sketch so I think I'm going to sketch today and create a title with a short sentence from some of the words that uh, we used earlier. Um, and I'm going to sketch. I'm going to sketch the end of the road, um, and I'm going to use some um, some new materials that I haven't used before uh, to get the drawing going. I'll show you how easy it is to to create an image. So these are my two new materials that I bought recently. I've got a burnt umber <coughs> graphite tint XL block, and I've got a graphite Excel blocks. This is just pure um, uh, lead pencil in a block. Um, so we're going to struggle to get this out of the box now. So there's that one. And then this one is slightly, it's the same, but just a slightly different tone of colour. It's nice. If I look over here, they can make some really nice, oh, that's making a nice mark already. Lots of marks you can make with these. This is a pencil, so like I say, it's going to make a different sort of mark. So there's some lovely marks there. Got a bit over the centre of the page, but don't worry about that. So I'm going to put my uh, my reference image probably up here for you to view. Um, so let's get started. Right, so I'm going to use my big block of colour first of all, and I'm going to put in the house that's at the end of our road and I'm going to do this very simply I'm going to put in the uh, drawing doesn't need to be difficult people make it difficult I think um, so I'm going to put that roof in there there's a bit of a cut out in the roof so I'm going to put that in quite early on there we go that's the house in <sighs> lovely and we got some windows so I'm going to put them in Again, using the big piece of uh, 
Shit, that's big bit of graphite. And then we've got another bit of roof. That, um, so I'm going to mark that in. Mark down the edge of the building. And I'm going to put in another bit of roof across there. It's not, it comes up to there, so I'm just going to mark that point and I'm going to mark that there for the garage. There we go. That garage in there. And then we can line in there. Nice big bay window. And there's a door. All very grey, which was, was handy because that's what there's. Now, the car, sometimes people put, like to put cars in, but let's put a car in, show you how easy it is to do a car. There we go. Let's put that in there. That's that. I'll do for now. Um, there's a fence here. That goes there. Um, and I'm going to come down here. And across the bottom there. Perfect. I do there. We've got a garage door there. Dog's barking. Nice. So there we go. Very simply put a house in. Um, there's this really wonderful tree. I'm just trying to work out where I want to put it. I think I'm going to put it here. Again, I'm, I'm just using this, the edge of this. It's got, it comes up like that. There's another meaty bit that comes off there. I'm using the side and the, the edge, and I'm going to put another bit there, I think. There we go. Quite a nice mark over there, and then there's another bit that's come in there. Okay. And we've got this tree here that I want to put in. I'm going to put it in. It's on the other side of the road, but I'll put it in there like that. There we go. And we want some reflections down, so I'm going to might use the other stick for that. Yeah, we're going to use the other stick for that. We come across there and we're going to put the garage of the other house in probably there. So we've got some sort of continuation of the house that side. Bring the garage door through there. I'm, not, I'm going to ignore the car on that side of the road. Put the house in. Different sort of house. It's got a door there and the roof there. So that's, that's okay. There, that do, I think. Don't want too much detail that side. And then, believe it or not, there's a police station in the background, so I'm just going to put that in lightly. There's another house we can see the roof of. There we put that in. There we go. So we've got quite a nice picture going on there. So I'll use my brown stick now. Put some of this in. This is a graphite stint. So this does some really wonderful stuff when you wet it. So I'm gonna try doing that later. And I wanna there was some grass I wanted to put in this picture. And I'm going to bring that car down there. Oh, that didn't really work. There we go. And then... Yeah, this, is, this is probably the wrong sort of colour for this, actually. Let's put some more black over there. I don't want that to, too much, I think. There we go. And then oh, I just want some mark. Pollard in that I love so much. And I'm going to do some of this on here as well. It's like the tree's actually growing out of the edge of the house there, but never mind. It's fine, there's some more coming up here. 
find uh, this house here. So it was a lot. Right, so we've got a good outline image now. Um, sometimes I like to just place a piece of mount around my work just to see what's actually happening. Am I getting an image that I can use? I think we're getting there. Um, and let's uh, use some Tombow now. On this try and get some of these try and work into this a bit more um, now we've got some outline that we can use we can start to really build up on what we've got here I want to put some windows in on this house there's kind of four of them so I'm gonna put them in windows up here uh, this window is actually smaller than bigger than what I put in but that's fine uh, let's hide up that edge there 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 we go starting to get the end of my road in now that's looking good there's a a step in front of that door and there's some again some windows going on now I'm gonna simplify those a bit there we go now the car what should we do with the car let's put that in a little bit better let's put some wheels in first of all we got the some black bits in there that I can see the shape of a back of this car and we've got the roof there's a window that sort of comes up like that and then we got and we suddenly suddenly you sort of see the car up here i think you can see it appearing there if i use the end of this pen here now we can start to fill in these bits there we go got the window that's sort of looking like a car to me which is good. I'm going to draw some of this in the garage. As you can see now, I'm just, just recreating some of my lines. And there's a fancy bit to the wood around the garage. And put some windows in now. Not been too neat about this, as you'll see have to be neat it's your art so you can do what you want to do let's put this door in put a letterbox in there some more bits in the door frame there I'm going to smarten this roof up across here I think that needs a bit more work there we go and let's work on a bit more Twigs on here. I'm using the pen, holding it very at the end, so I've got very little control over the lines it's producing. But that's all for the good, would you believe? Uh, we can put a bit more sort of tree detail in there if we want. A bit more trunk of a tree going out. There we go. These ones are very fine. I've noticed, so I'm going to put some more of these in. Uh, sort of make the tree shapes. Very wintry looking trees. Which is good because that's what I wanted. I'm going to put this house in the distance in there. Just draw it in a little bit the roof of this garage to deal with we're going to put that in like that uh, very simple done um, put the garage door in it's 
all these marks now make sense of the picture because we can just draw in the bits that we want. I didn't realise that this house is slightly side on, so we've got to factor that in with that bit of roof there. And that bit of roof is that bit there, and that comes across there. We've got another window in there, which we're not going to do too much on this side of the drawing because we don't want to pull the attention away from this lovely bit going on over here. There's a window in there and a door, so we'll put that in very quickly. Maybe we'll put some of the garage. I've got rid of the car that was there, I didn't like it. Now we can put the street lamp in, I think. This is a lovely thing because we can now start to add some water to the image. Oh, I'm going to use my pen now to add some uh, reflection. See that's going through that. That's now coming alive. And we're going to do a bit more work with that in a minute come through that again we put this in there's a bit of a path there some lovely green grass you can't see it on but I'm gonna sure shoot tell you it's there it's a bit of a fence at the back of the house as well we put that in loosely yeah. bit of sense of that don't do too much with that house but I will put it in this is just a little bit of detail in the background, but there's some more pollarding we can do up here. Some people don't like pollarded trees. I, I kind of think they look quite nice. But maybe that's me. I don't know. Uh, put that tree in. That make it a bit more tree shaped in there. This is coming along a treat now kind of getting a real feel for the day. Now I have got some water and a brush. I just want to see. Uh, we're going to push that. This is the beauty of these pens now. We can start to really get some water through the road. really making a nice wet wet day see if we can put some water on there lovely get that in maybe I can see there's some water there that's darker at the edge there so we'll put that in got this garage door there and we're gonna pull the like that we'll put this in and again just pull the shape down there get a little bit of a um, I'm going to make the roof dark across there just to separate it from that tree um, leave that one we'll put this one in a little bit I think that'll help there we go do just a little bit of work on this tree here just to make it stand out a bit bring it out from the foliage there and then we can just as my road sort of has this bend in it there we go putting it straight down really does help to A wet day, we really are getting wet. Put some of that there, um, bring some of that through there. This is really looking wet. Uh, push that in there, so not so much there. I'm really feeling the cold and the wet in this picture. I don't, 
just exactly like I described. I'll put those trees in a bit more. I'll just pull that away from that roof, like so. I think that's almost done. I might just put a little few dabs of that in there. Oops. And then finally, I think what I'm going to do is put the road in with my, that's not the right pen, let's use a permanent pen. So this is a permanent pen, so nothing should muck it up. So we've got a bit of street furniture through there. This is not going to work now because it's wet. But to help the viewers see what I want them to see. There's that. There we go. Put the car number plate in there like that. Wheels, make the wheels sort of stick out of it. There's lots of black underneath there. There's a black in there as well. And the windows. There we go. Looking very cold, damp day. And now I'm just, I think I'm almost there. I don't think I want to do too much more to this image. I've got a good feeling of a damp day. There's a bit, oh, that, does, that does come down to there. Put another bit of that in for the window. Put that fence in. Put that fence in. Put the door back in. Put some more bits in here. Again, just flicking up. in here that's wet and makes a Dull, misty, cold, damp, horrible day. Yeah, I think that really does sort of sum up the, the day rather well. So, uh, yeah, so that is my day two then. Looked out the window, so a really cold, damp winter's day. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to call this. I'm going to call it a cold, damp winter's day. Good. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back tomorrow with day three, the 64 million artists challenge. <laughs>